welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event and DIY decor today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful beater curtain that you can use indoors or outdoors and you can use for many occasions here we go many different things and for many different occasions okay so some of the things I did purchase are pretty much optional and it's totally up to you if you want to make it just like I'm going to make it or you can make it as simple and as cheap as possible the very first thing you're going to need for sure is going to be a piece of solid wood stick uh, they go as low as 63 cents at Home Depot I ended up buying a piece of wood trim I fell in love with the design on it so I ended up paying a little more but it's totally up to you uh, another thing that's going to be optional is going to be wood stain. Uh, I had this left over from another project and I just want to give it a little glow here. Another optional item here is this uh, clean release tape. I'm going to use it to cover the trim so when I start spray painting it won't get any paint on it. You're also going to need a measuring tape, pencil, 20 packs of beads, and spray paint. I was torn between silver, white, and like a pearly color, and I decided on silver. And I'm also going to need some hot glue. Whoops. <laughs> I'm also going to need some hot glue. And that's it. Let's get started. So I went ahead and stained in my wood trim, and while that dries for about an hour, I'm going to go ahead and work on my beads right here. And here is how this whole thing is going to work. My wood trim is five feet wide, which equals to 60 inches wide. And since I want my uh, curtain to be pretty full, I'm going to make my rows one inch apart. So that equals to 60 rows of beads. Get it? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna write it down. <laughs> and then you're going to use three necklaces to make a row of beads. So, all right, let's do this. For this step, I'm going to be using my measuring tape and pencil. What I'm going to do is mark an inch apart here on the trim so I'll know where to glue my rows of beads. Now all I'm going to do is just add glue to the top of the bead right here and start gluing my rows on the trim. take it outside and spray paint it today's actually a day later uh, yesterday while I was trying to paint my curtain back here um, the temperature was pretty pretty hot and uh, they were dropping like raindrops so make sure to apply some interior and exterior glue to um, to your curtain I didn't think of it since I was going to just use it indoors but I totally forgot that I was going to have to paint it outdoors so um, so yeah the hot glue um, is good for indoors but it's not good for outdoors so I went ahead and um, applied this wood adhesive this is good for wood and it's also good for other types of materials and it works like a charm you can use other types of outdoor um, glue but this one is amazing it actually it kind of uh, reminds me of uh, crazy glue. It smells like it, and it you know, it kind of sticks to your skin just like it, so be careful. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting. Alright guys, so here is my finished 
beaded curtain and I absolutely love it. It is about five by 10, it's pretty, pretty long. Right now it's just suspended above my door. This is actually going to go in my daughter's bedroom but she likes her privacy so I'm showing it to you right here in my bedroom or in our bedroom. <laughs> um, so I think it will be much cheaper if you can find beads that are silver if you want to make your uh, curtain silver because I went through five cans of spray paint so yeah I don't think that was um, worth it because each spray, uh, spray can is $3.86. I mean, which is not that bad, but yeah, you can definitely save money if you can just find beads that are already the color that you want. You can definitely use this as a decorative piece in your room or as a room divider or just to place above any doorway. And you can definitely make your um, wooden stick smaller if your uh, doorway is smaller. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.